Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We are looking for a good chance of showers and storms as we move throughout the day. First, that weather disturbance that's been through here the past couple of days will kick out, and then we'll watch for more showers and storms to develop along our backdoor cold front that slides in late today. That's first going to give the northeast a good chance of showers and storms, and then it'll continue to move through the metro. But as it does so, it's also going to kick up those gusty East Canyon winds. Winds will be gusting up to around 45 miles per hour through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow. And then throughout the day tomorrow, we're looking for a good chance of showers and storms across a good portion of the state. Eventually starting to taper off into the late daytime hours tomorrow from north to south and behind this front. We are looking at another cool down with temperatures cooling by 10 to 20 degrees. A new company is coming to town, promising 50 jobs now and up to 200 in the future. Air USA is a government contractor that provides defense services for our military. They say they wanted to come to Albuquerque because of all the military veterans living here. The governor says her tax incentives also helped move the company here from Illinois. It's unsure when they expect to move in. The announcement comes on the heels of the New Mexico Finance Authority allowing another company to move into Shot Solar's facility at Mesa del Sol. The city of Albuquerque has agreed to pay a widow of a murder victim $439,000 to settle a lawsuit, alleging that police could have arrested the killer before the crime. Catherine Pierce sued after her husband Scott was killed. That serial killer Clifton Bloomfield did that in 2008. Now Pierce's lawyers say police should have arrested Bloomfield earlier. That would have prevented her husband's death and the 2007 death of a Korean couple. Now city attorneys say officers did nothing wrong. Bloomfield is serving 195 years for five murders. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a good day everybody and see you tomorrow.